I'm be trying to freaking feel my intro and birds is just flying around my window making all this noise. Like, is not is that really necessary? Look at that. Ain't that, ain't that weird? And they're all, whoa, 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 yo. Let me close my window. Uh, hold on. Oh, that is insane. Like, yo, 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 what's going on, man? Welcome to another video. It's like my freaking third or fourth time trying to record this intro. But, um, welcome to another video, man. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Welcome to my channel, man. Um, you already know who it is. And if you don't, you will know soon. Uh, anyways, man, welcome to another video. So today I wanted to try something a little different. Um, something I wanted to do for a minute, but never really got to it. and never really had the courage to do it. But you know, I said, put your big boy pants on, make this video and I do it. So um, I wanted to try and do a Q&A video. So I asked people on my Instagram to ask me some questions, whatever question came to their mind. And you know what I'm saying? I got my iPad right here. So I'm going to answer the questions to the best of my ability. Um, but before we get into all that, if you're new to the channel, man, press that subscribe button. It's that big red button that says subscribe. Like it looks exactly like this. Press that button. Um, it'll help me out. And you know what I'm saying? You'll be locked in. Like we locked in. Like as you press that subscribe button, man, we locked in. Just like this. We're like best friends at this point because I don't see y'all as my subscribers or my viewers. I see y'all as my family and my best friends. You feel me? Um, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're a community here. We're, we're, we're family here, you know? Um, so yeah. If you're new, press that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video at any point, press that like button. That helps me out too. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video, man. So um, let's see. The first question out of my list of questions is, what are you motivated by? This is a good question because, hmm, I think my biggest motivation is seeing how much my mom had to struggle. Like, she struggled so many years and I've been here for a while seeing the struggle but not even not really being able to help as I want to, you know? So I think my biggest motivation would be knowing that I'm gonna be able to help her out one day. If I keep going with doing what I'm doing, if I keep going and I stay locked in, stay consistent and just stay positive, I know I can do I can I can treat my mom how she wants to be treated. I wanna buy her a car one day. I'm gonna get her a house one day if that's what she wants. Like I wanna be able to take care of my mom because she's taken care of me and my siblings for so long with literally no help. That's 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 my motivation. Seeing my mom struggle and struggle. But things are looking up, man. We on the way, man. Everything is working out. And y'all might get a I bought my mama car video soon. Who knows? I bought my mama house video soon. Who knows? You feel me? Um so yeah. Next question is um, what's your best advice to other artists? So, um, yes, I'm an artist. I like to draw, paint, illustrate, all that good stuff. You feel me? I uh, do a little bit of graphic design, but not really. Um, what I will say for artists, I feel like don't expect to be perfect right away. That was my biggest problem. I expected every single piece I draw, I drew to be perfect. And I never really wanted to see my growth. But when I started drawing recently, I saw every single time I drew something, I improved a little bit more. So I said, okay, I like this. Okay, it's, it looks cool. I go to the next painting. Okay, hold on, I impress myself a little bit. Okay, to the next one. Okay, I did way better than I did last time. Let me keep going. And you learn so much as you keep going. Because like, I don't know, my, my best advice would be to whatever you do, whatever form of art you do, whether it's drawing or singing, whatever you do, keep doing it, keep going at it, no matter how discouraged you may feel at one point, keep going because I promise you, it's all gonna pay off one day. And it's all it's all a journey, it's all a process. You learn as you go and that's the best part about it. Stop feeling bad about whether or not it looks good or people like it, that doesn't matter. If it makes you happy by doing it, keep doing it. And then you'll watch how you improve as you go on and yeah, man, it's, it's it's a really nice process. I can't even lie. For some reason, somebody said wear, 
just literally the, the word where with the question mark. Um, yeah, where, here, right here, right now. Next question says, how are you mentally and don't lie? Mentally, I can honestly say, I can honestly say I'm very peaceful right now. I'm positive, happy, I'm blessed. You know, I honestly can say like everything is really good for me right now. Like mentally, I am really good. I still have my days where I kind of get down on myself and put a lot of pressure on myself. But overall, like mentally and even physically, I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good and I'm only getting better. You feel me? Thanks for asking that. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well too. Um, text me, whatever. Hit me up so we can talk. Indeed. What's your favorite thing to draw? Um, My favorite thing to draw? I don't really have a favorite thing. I think I just like drawing different versions of myself, no matter what it is. Like I draw, I used to, I like to draw me a lot. I don't know why. This is really cool to draw myself in different art styles and different, like, you know, it's kind of cool. I draw myself a cartoon style, I draw myself very realistic. It, it's it's th things like that, you know? I don't know, I've always been drawing myself because I think I just look, I, I look good, you feel me? And it's just like, I don't know. I like seeing myself everywhere. It's not to sound conceited or nothing. But I also just like to draw cartoons. I'm a really cartoony guy. I like animations and stuff like that. I like to draw people, you know, I'm trying to get into like drawing characters and really building my brand. Cause I want to just start a, a, a clothing brand, but also make art with it. So I want to like do posters and I want to do, I want to make plushies like, like Yoshi, but I don't make it my character, you know? It's a lot. I want to do it all. I'm going to do it all. It's just going to take time and patience. I promise y'all. Who's the funniest person you know? The funniest person I know? Hmm. That's a great question. Hmm. I don't know. I meet a lot of funny people. I think somebody that really cracks me up is my friend Marcus. Because if you're watching this, shout out to you, my boy. Hope you're doing, hope you're doing good. But I don't know. That, that whole summer we spent together like hanging out and stuff when i didn't really have a lot of friends at the time to hang out with it was just me and him and i noticed every time we was together we just crack up we would be dying laughing about any and everything and like you know how you had that connection with a friend like you look at them and you just start laughing because you just y'all connect just like that that's what we had and it was like the funniest thing ever because nobody else got it like, nobody else got it it was the funniest thing ever and I, I I just love connections like that, you know? And I have it with a lot of my friends, a lot of my homeboys, like we have that connection where you, where you can just, where something's happening and you look at him, you look at your homeboy, you just start laughing. Like that's one of the fun, he's one of the funniest people I know. There's a lot more funny people in my, that I know, but that's one of the funniest. I can, I can say that without a doubt. Next question is how you been doing, man? I've been doing great. Like really, I've been doing really good. I've been finding peace, man. I've been finding peace and just living my life and enjoying it because life is just too short to be feeling bad all the time. I understand we're not gonna have the best days, but we can try our hardest to find the best feeling, thought, best feeling, feeling, and just vibe it with that, man. So yeah, I've been doing good, man. I hope you've been doing good too. Um, next question is, am I single? Am I single, man? Yeah, I'm single, I'm very much single. If you got any friends, uh -huh. anybody watching that got any single friends, put me on. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for love, but at the same time, I could be looking for love. Who knows? Love is a crazy thing, you know? But I mean, I'm single. So like, if anybody want to write that down and like, yeah, yeah. Next question is, what's your favorite memory with the bros? Dang, I have so many memories, bro. Hmm. My favorite memory, I have a few. Um, ninth grade basketball was one of the funnest and the funniest experiences of my life. Just that whole season, it was funny. With the bros, man, it was funny. Um, and it was fun. I mean, like, that's when I knew, like, they was gonna be my homeboys for life. Just from ninth grade, we hung out throughout the rest of high school. It was cool. Um, so I'll say ninth grade uh, basketball team. If you were a food, what food would you be? Personally, hmm, 
I would say I think I think I'd honestly be a rack of ribs. Like I can't really explain it, but I think if 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 you if you know you know because I don't know something about ribs like they seem tough because all the bones or whatever, but when you really get to know it, they're sweet, tender, and it's just amazing. They're, they're good, you know. What is a place you really want to travel to? Um. Personally, my whole life, I've always wanted to travel to Paris. I don't know why. I think Paris is just a really beautiful place to go to. Um, and I'm still, I still want to go. But I think now, hmm, I don't really have a specific place. I definitely want to go to New York. I want to go to Chicago. Houston. Houston will be a place. I definitely want to go to Houston. You know, that's a, that's a place I really want to go to. And probably L.A., just to see what the, what the what all the hype is about, which is probably none, but definitely um, Houston is probably the next place I'm gonna go to. So I want to go see that, um, and I and I want to go back to Miami. I like how you ask for one place, and I and I name like five. Next question: What would be your dream ten car garage? My dream ten car garage. Hmm. So for starters. I want a Mercedes AMG GT 63S. That's my dream car that I am getting. Um, that's one. Also, I want a I want a Rolls Royce. I don't know which one, but I want a Rolls Royce. A Urus Lamborghini Urus. That's three. Uh, four. I want a I want a Jeep. I've always wanted a Jeep. I want to get one just to have it in my garage. I'm not really a super big car person, but I love cars for some reason. I don't really know. Um. I say I want a demon, just cause, just to have one. I feel like it's like a nice casual car, and for someone like me, I drive one. I would say a G wagon. I don't know why it's a really either that or a Maybach. A Maybach. I want a Maybach. That'd be hard. Number eight would probably be. I don't know, I, I was never really a Lambo guy. Mm, maybe a Ferrari, I don't know which exact model. Number nine, I feel like just to have a big body, I would get me, I think I could get either a Forerunner or like a blacked out Escalade, just to have a big body. And number 10, number 10, if I wanna be low key and like not let nobody know who I am, I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get me a Chevy Malibu. Why not? I'm Malibu. If your girl doing 10 years in jail, you doing three years so she don't have to go to jail. It depends on what she what she going to jail for. Cause if you my girl, I'm not letting you go to jail. That's fucking stupid. I'm gonna bail her out. I just I'm ball like that. I'm, I'm just I'm gonna just bail her out. And if she can't get bailed out, see you in 10 years, my heart. The next question, how many times do you smoke in a day? I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to smoke like four or five blunts in a day. Smoke weed every day. Just being honest with you, that was back in college. Now I rarely smoke, like I don't even smoke once a day anymore. Like it would have to either be with my brother or like if I'm just having one of them days where I just need a blunt, but now I don't really smoke like I used to. I barely smoke. How do I be more happy? That one kind of hurt me. Cause why is you not happy, my boy? Why is you not happy? Um, I can't really answer that like for your sake. But what I discovered about um, when I was kind of sad, um, I don't know. I tried to find even one thing going good in my life no matter what it was you know and i tried to focus on that i tried to go outside and just just surround myself with things and with people that made me feel better you know because i feel like if you're in a place you're comfortable with or around people you're comfortable with and you feel like you can really be yourself or just be free from whatever's going on in your head or whatever's going around you Surrounding yourself with that starts to build a happiness and like, I don't know, 
spending time away from the problem is what I'll say, you know, whether that's going for a walk one day, going work out, working out made me feel so much better when I was going through what I was going through. I was in the gym as much as I could be. I was in there lifting and lifting because it just took the stress away. It really did. So I suggest working out, art, freaking going for a walk, listening to music, whatever makes you happy in any way possible, whatever used to make you happy, you know what I'm saying, do that, try new things, maybe you'll find something else that makes you happy, it's, it's about stepping out of your comfort zone and just being open to new things and really identifying the problem, but not letting it, you know what I'm saying, not letting it affect you so much because i feel like a lot of our happiness comes from our thoughts honestly and it's like some of the things we think may not really be true and we like to listen to our thoughts so much it's it's a mess honestly you know but also maybe listen to podcasts i make podcasts i make podcasts if y'all want to check that out i'll put the link in the description um yeah i make podcasts you know i feel like I can put some of my experiences that maybe some of y'all relate to at, at my age, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my experiences can help a lot of people out. So, yes, I, I, I do podcasts. I'm getting back into it. So, if y'all want to check me out, link in the description, W promo, W plug. Look. And yeah, the last question is, what is the biggest crush you had in college? Now, trying to get me caught up? It's like, no. Um, biggest crush? Mm. I won't say I had a crush in college, but like, if I'm, I'm not going, I'm not going to say no names because that's a recipe for disaster. Um, the biggest crush. Like I said, I don't really, I haven't really had a crush in college, to be honest with you. Um, it was girls that I definitely wanted, but at the same time, I didn't really have a crush on. So I can't really answer that question, honestly. But like, if you know, you know. But I feel like nobody knows, so yeah. Um, but I believe that wraps it up. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. If you did like this video, go ahead and press that like button. It looks just like this, like this right here, except it's white. You know, BLM though. Um, so yeah, press the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Thanks for watching. Peace.